Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today is another day with a big orange bag from Timu. So this time I've been purchasing some resin mold and I thought I'd share them with you. So starting off, we have this um, large mixing cup, um, which is silicon. So this is for mixing your resin in. Um, as you can see, it's a really good size one. It goes all the way up to 600 millilitres. Um, this is um, significantly bigger than most of the resin measuring cups that I already own, which only go up to about 100 millilitres. So, yeah, really, really good. And I'm looking forward to giving that a go for larger projects. Next up, we have this little pot. I loved it because of its little cauldrony sort of shape and it's got a little lid which goes on. So it sort of gives sort of almost like a little honey pot or a cauldron shape. Um, yeah, I was, I was um, intrigued by that one. So back into the bag. Next up, we have this really cool trinket tray slash soap dish um, would make a nice addition to anybody's altar. It is a leaf shape mold um, with lots of detail built into the mold there. So I'm really looking forward to having a go with that one. Then we have a little kitty cat. Um, kind of very sort of kawaii, uh, cutesy looking cat with some nice detail as well. Uh, a little bit too big for a cover binder, but would make a nice paperweight. Now, another large mould. This one is a pumpkin. Let's get it out. Okay, so we have our pumpkin um, storage jar uh, so yeah it's very cute got the sort of typical Halloweeny sort of pumpkin details and then the cute little lid which has the stem on it as well so again be interesting to see how this comes out when it is all completed this next item is a mold which could have multiple purposes. Um, it's designed to look like kind of rough slices of geode, perhaps um, just sort of very vague shapes, um, but specifically to be turned into hair clips, tie pins, um, brooches, rings, anything you like and I've got the pin kit that goes with it so hopefully we should have enough pins to match up with the mold and be able to find a back for everything. I was so excited to try out the moulds and really wanted you to see how they would come out once they were completed that I thought I'd give them a go straight away. And so here we are 24 hours later and I've got all of the moulds filled aside from I didn't have quite enough resin to fully fill the lid for the little cauldron pot and also didn't have enough to do the little cat mould as well. But we will still have a look at what I've made. And as soon as I've got some more resin, I'll be able to show you the other ones. So let's see how easy this is to get out of its mold.
Well, that wasn't too difficult once I got it started. I am so pleased with how this colour came out. I used a mixture of some chromatic powders on the mould itself and then um, a black coloured resin and mica and some glitter for the um, for the main pour, um, keeping things dark but on the purple side of dark and I'm really pleased with how it came out. There are a few micro bubbles, um, I think I would have been better using a resin designed for deep pores, um, that would have allowed much more of the bubbles to clear. Okay, on to the next one. So this is our leaf mould and um, let's see how easy this one is to do. It seems like it's going to be quite easy. Do be careful when you're demoulding though because the edges of resin can be quite sharp as I found here and ended up with a paper cut on my thumb. Um, yeah, this demoulded really quite easily just having to go very carefully around that stem of the leaf because I was very worried about it breaking off. But just slow and steady wins the race. And here we go. I have got a couple of little bubbles um, maybe needed to pour a little bit slower when I was filling the mould, but I'm quite pleased with it for a first attempt. I think next time I'm going to concentrate a bit more on adding some variation of colour um, when I'm painting the mould with the mica powders before pouring the resin. Um, I did try to add a couple of different colours, but they seem to have all just merged together, but works perfectly well as a trinket dish and I will be using that in the future. So now on to our pumpkin mould. Um, I'm so excited to see how this one comes out. Um, the lid is lovely and easy to demould. Pops out super nice and I am really pleased with the colours on this one. I had added just the smallest amount of green resin when I was pouring this one in the hope that I would end up with a green stem for my pumpkin. Obviously you could do this as a two-part pour and pour just green into the stem and then leave it to cure before going on to the next bit but I didn't want to spend that much time on it. The main pumpkin body took a little bit more effort to do mould, but we did get there in the end. And I think with practice, I could get this to work even easier. Again, I was really pleased with how the colour came out on this one. I had mixed in some mica powders um, with the orange resin. Um, the orange resin I made by mixing red and yellow as I didn't have an orange. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how it came out. It's a proper sort of Halloween pumpkin resin colour with... Um, yeah lots of gold sparkles throughout i am absolutely thrilled with how that one came out and um i think it matches quite nicely with the leaf actually they they're, they're sort of like a pair and so now the easiest demolding all of them of all of them the um the hair clips so let's see how these came out i tried a few different um techniques with these using different micas and glitters, um, some colour powders that I had, and also some copper or rose gold leaf that I had as well, just to see how that all came out um, and give me lots of variety for what I want to make with these in the future. So um, do let me know down in the comments if you have a favourite item that I've made today. Um, I always like to hear what you think of the products that I'm showing or making and um, also let me know if you've got any suggestions for um, any colour combinations or um, 
ideas for how to use these moulds in the future. And so that's all of our items demolded now. Um, I am really pleased with how they came out um, for a first try of using these moulds. And I do think it's a lot easier for me to showcase these moulds to you um, as viewers once you've seen them created into a physical object rather than just looking at the mould where it's quite difficult to see. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so pleased with them. I did go ahead and use some Araldite two-part epoxy glue to fix the hair clip fastenings onto the back of all of the pins. Um, and yeah, I am really, really pleased with how they all came out and I hope that you have enjoyed seeing this as well. And of course, if you have enjoyed it, please do remember to leave a like, share, subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I will see you all in the next one. But until then, stay crafty! Purchasing items like this to try wouldn't be possible without the help of my generous patrons. A massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you.